metropolitan areas in the world. All right, time now for the mixed team gold medal match in Shanghai here at Riverside Boulevard. And this will pit the team from Japan against the team from Chinese Taipei. The archers coming out, getting ready for competition. Here in Shanghai in the Pudong District, Japan against Chinese Taipei. Japan will be on target one, Chinese Taipei on target number two. Team Taipei, Guo Cheng Wei and Teng Ya Ting. Those two teamed up to beat Belarus earlier this week. Then they defeated the Mongolians by one and also defeated the team from the United States by one point. This is a good look at the team from Japan. Ren Hayakawa and Hideki Kikuchi, they upset the Koreans. Kibo Bay and Im Dong-hyun, bit, bit of an upset, I would say. Oh, that is an upset. I didn't realize that they took them out in the first match. Took them out 6 nothing, And then they edged the Ukraine by one point. And in the semifinals, pulled off another upset by beating China 151 to 149. Good look at the team from Chinese Taipei. Once again, Kuo Cheng Wei and Teng Ya Ting, winners over Belarus, Mongolia, and the United States, as you can see how they got to this gold medal match here in Shanghai this morning. Ms. Tang, currently ranked 76th in the world, was ranked 24th a year ago, and there's the judge. We'll be officiating this match between Japan and Taipei. Mr. Kuo is ranked 44th in the world, while Ms. Hayakawa is 8th in the world. And Mr. Kikuchi comes in, a real veteran archer, 26 years old and ranked 23rd in the world. So there you see it. The People's Republic of China winning the first match in the bronze medal match, 143 to 141 over the Americans. It's Miss Tan Yating shooting first for Chinese Taipei. See if she's on the right like the last match had. And there it is, arrows on the right. So there are some there are some winds going down on the field. I was going to ask what that tells you. That tells me that, yeah, the practice field that they were shooting on is very different than the tournament field. And uh, this tournament field is definitely showing a little bit of a right bias to the, uh, to the arrows and the archers. Mr. Kuo. Sometimes we might see the females affected a little bit more than the males because of the lower draw weight. So the ar the males, the, the male archers, uh, their arrows spend less time in the air because of the higher draw weight, so not affected by the wind as much. Uh, Ms. Hayakawa on the right again. The greater the draw weight, the more power behind the shot. The faster exactly. it flies, the less time it spends in the air, and yes. the less time it's affected by the elements. Exactly but you still need to shoot consistently. You can't just pull on a bow and let it go and expect it. And that yeah. might hurt Japan a lot. Uh, that's a six from Kikuchi. Mr. Kikuchi. Um, again, not impossible to come back from, but very difficult to come back from. It is tough. You don't get any warm-up shots here on this playing field. Mm -hmm. You make the trans hey. transfer from the practice yeah. range. And there's a 10 for Hello. Taipei. Ms. Tan. And now Kuo Cheng Wei. And he started to dial it in as well. Very good shooting from Chinese Taipei in the first end. Using their first two arrows as kind of sighting in arrows, and then the next two arrows just pounding away at the 10 ring. So Japan trying to counter the nine up high. And even with a 10, Chinese Taipei will take this first set here in the mixed team gold medal match. Much better shot. So a 10 to finish off that set for Japan, but not enough as they'll fall by three, 37 34. But again, only uh, three points deficit with uh, six and one on your ends is uh, still a pretty good. Uh, you're in the ball game. Yeah, you're still in. So they gather their thoughts as the arrows are retrieved. 
And the points are totaled here in Shanghai, just to make sure that everything's official. Good look at the equipment being used by these world-class archers here in Shanghai. On a beautiful morning yesterday, cold, overcast. This morning the sun came out, the temperature's gone up, and light winds greeting these archers here along the Wangpu River, but again, winds that they still have to deal with, contend with, and try to figure out. Mm -hmm. It's a lot hotter than uh, what the archers were shooting in during this week, so I'm surprised to see Chinese Taipei and Japan still in long sleeve shirts, because I'm sitting here sweating. And, um, but I mean, these archers, uh, I, I guess they're used to hotter climates than this, so. Um, I mean, good on them for still sticking to what they know, even if it uh, means that they're just a little bit warmer than uh, the average people. There you see the, the flag of China gently waving, wafting in the breeze as we get set for the second set of this gold medal match, and it starts off with an eight. That's a nine. Oh, a nine, excuse me. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Hayakawa is still high with both of her, with all three of her shots, high nines. Oh, beautiful shot. A little movement on the bow arm, but he still managed to hold it in and score a perfect X with that arrow. So a 10 for Mr. Kikuchi, a silver medalist at last fall's Asian Championships in Iran. Now we go back to Team Taipei, which had a three point lead after the first set. And a nine just out, uh, still off to the right, but I don't think that's uh, much of a problem anymore for Chinese Taipei. Dan Yak Ting with a nine, now Kuo Cheng Wei. Ten points. So a great start for both of these teams. Both teams are tied for this end. 19 points out of 20. Nine high again, so Miss High Cow would just move her sight, which she's doing right there. I predict her next shots are going to be a little bit lower and possibly in the 10 ring. Nine points. Just low for Mr. Kikuchi. So 37 out of a possible 40 points for Team Japan on that end, a lot better than their first end. Three points better than exactly. the first end. And a little bit of pressure now applied to Chinese Taipei. Mm. Ten. And oh, they right. respond. I don't think they're uh, holding to that pressure at all. Another 10 from Chinese Taipei. Only have dropped one point so far in this end. 29 out of a possible 30. Final arrow. And it's a nine. So as the bells toll here in Shanghai, one point gained by Chinese Taipei in this end, bring us to the halfway point. So at the halfway point, it is a four-point lead for Chinese Taipei, 75 to 71. They led by three after the first set, but pick up another point. The Chinese Taipei scores 38 points in that second set. And has Japan behind the eight ball, so to speak, down by four, but a lot of arrows yet to be shot. We're at the midway point of this gold medal match here in Shanghai at the 2012 Archery World Cup. Japan taking on Chinese Taipei. If you're just joining us in the first match, it was the People's Republic of China defeating the United States. 143 to 141, so a two-point victory. The Americans getting into trouble in the first set of their bronze medal match as they fell behind by six and battled back, took four points off the lead, but ultimately wound up losing by two, 143 to 141. Here, Chinese Taipei jumped out to a three-point lead after the first set. Increase that lead to four here at the midway point as we begin the third set. And Japan starts off the third set.
Hideki Kikuchi trying to follow up the nine by Ren Hayakawa. Okay, okay. No. And shoots a nine on the line that will bear closer inspection after this set is over. But for now, ostensibly it is a nine. So Chinese Taipei trying to answer and counter, and they'll counter with a nine themselves. Tan Yating with a nine. Ms. Tan been very consistent through this entire match. Kuo Cheng Wei, a member of the men's silver medal team at the Olympic test event in London last fall, and he scores a bullseye, and so another point added to the overall lead as Chinese Taipei now has a five-point advantage, 94 to 89, lead in this set, 19-18. Back to the Yo. Japanese contingent, Ren Hayakawa, who picked up three medals at the Asian Grand Prix in Thailand this past February and three medals at the Asian Championships last fall in Iran, shoots a nine. Her teammate comes up with something a little bit better. So Mr. Kikuchi, who won a silver cup or a World Cup silver medal in Antalya last spring, and two years ago in Shanghai took home a silver medal in team competition as well, came up with a 10 on that last shot of the third set. And Chinese Taipei with an eight. So right now, Mr. Kuo needs to shoot a 10 to tie this set up and scores a nine. So Japan actually wins this third set, 37-36, to pick up one point. And after three sets, Chinese Taipei sees its lead cut down to three once again. So the team from Japan falling behind by four at the midway point takes one point off that lead and trails by three heading into the final set. Two more arrows for each of these archers. Four arrows in each set for each team. And the gold medal at stake. Here at the first stage of the Archery World Cup Tour in 2012, all of this, of course, leading up to the World Cup Finals next September in Tokyo. But a lot of archery and a lot of shots between now and then. So the fourth and final set about to begin. Here at this magnificent venue, constructed along Riverside Boulevard at a nine on the first shot of the fourth set. For Ms. Hayakawa, who won a team bronze medal at the Olympic test event in London, attesting to her abilities. Hideki Kukuchi. Okay, okay. Yo with a nine as well. Once again, the Japanese team really surprised a lot of people upsetting the Koreans. Kibo Bay and Im Dong Hyun in the elimination rounds. Part of a strong week's performance that got them to this gold medal match against the Chinese Taipei team, but Chinese Taipei keeping the pressure on. Tang Yating with a 10. Wo Cheng Wei releases and fires a nine. So a one point lead. They've regained the point that they lost in the third set and once again go up by four points, which would appear to be an insurmountable lead heading down the stretch in this gold medal match. A nine for Hayakawa. And now Hideki Kukuchi with the final shot for Japan in this gold medal mixed team match. Kikuchi 
Jo. He won a silver medal in Shanghai two years ago. Fires a nine. May have to settle for silver here again. The big smiles on his face and the face of his teammate. And now Chinese Taipei just needs to be solid down the stretch. Finish this up strong. And that makes it official, a 10. He didn't have to have a 10, but he finishes up in style and in good fashion right there. Kuo Cheng Wei with a 10 to finish off this match. And once again, congratulations all around. To these competitors in the gold medal match. So the mixed team competition is over and Chinese Taipei wins it. Chinese Taipei wins going away by the score of 140. 144 to 139, I believe. 149 to 144, excuse me. So a commanding victory for Chinese Taipei.